Hi there, it's Corey and Denise with Does Size Matter and we're here with another trailer review today. We are in Kamloops, BC, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> it's 30 degrees out, which is about 90 in Fahrenheit and we're hot, but we're here to do a review for you today. Uh, we are at Fraser Way RV and they carry uh, the Cougar brand, so we wanted to share some more of those with you. We're going to do the Cougar Half Ton 22 RBSWE this time because this is just a fantastically popular trailer, so I wanted to share it with you. Uh, just remember that everything we tell you is based on the research that we do and my and Corey's opinions and I search and scour and learn everything I can and then I come and share it with you and you can take it with a grain of salt and do whatever you want with it. Uh, the actual nuts and bolts construction part I'll link to at the end which goes back to part one of another cougar we did a while back. So I'll link it to there which gives you way more details but you know how time goes by and I learn new things and manufacture manufacturers put out new things so there'll be a few updates on the 2020 uh, that I'll share with you as we go through so you'll want to watch this one and then you'll want to go and click on the link to see the construction one as well okay so we're going to start here at the front of this rig and uh, a few of the changes that have made been made uh, on the 2020 is that we do have a different composition in the fiberglass cap on the front of the rig Yes, there had been some problems Keystone was having and they have taken steps to correct those and make these better fiberglass caps. There's some lighting in it that's just kind of cool to have and they've also put the rock guard back on and we all know why, right? Because customers need a rock guard on there. They want to protect their trailers. Uh, they are still on the light brick chassis but they've gone to more ride suspension. You've got your standard electric jack because these days you don't have to wind up your trailer anymore you've also got your standard uh, we're guessing probably around 30 pounds to propane tanks under here so that'll give you lots of propane in a trailer like this all right let's check out the storage I'm happy to say that when you open these doors they have the magnet system which I love and it just keeps it out of the way this is quite a nice storage system. It's a complete pass-through, so I like that. You've got your battery disconnect in here. Uh, you've got a fresh water and a city water connection to fill you up. This trailer has one slide. I mean, this isn't that huge of a trailer, but boy, I can't wait to show you the inside. So it has a um, rack and pinion electric system to open and shut this slide. It has a bulb seal and a flap there. No slide toppers. Now those are something you could have added to your rig because they're kind of important to protect the top and your slide from getting water and debris in it. Also while we're looking up there is a like a little rain channel ease trough and a spout to keep that water away from the side of your rig so i like that okay. let's go around and take a look at the back different colors this year too on the um on the cougar uh, so over here we have your 30 amp cord hookup so that's nice there just pull it out and down here is uh, your sewage drain and your black and gray valves and remember on the cougar the valves uh, are actually under the underbelly insulated and kept uh, warm in there the other thing i want to mention um, for the 2020 is that they have pads uh, electric pads on all of the tanks to keep them warm and it works on a 12 volt system now and I guess they're even looking at integrating that uh, to your vehicle so that you could keep those things heated and warm while you're driving down the road. That's kind of neat. Come on. So another change that uh, Keystone has made is remember uh, and you'll see on the other video when you link to it because I know you're going to want to watch it. It had a big um, 
rack that kind of folded up or came down back here, which I did love and I thought was a great idea. They have taken that away, but you do have the hitch. I don't know if you can see it. It's over here behind the tire. There is the hitch there and you can put whatever you want on. You can put your bike rack, you could put one of those big racks on, you can put whatever you want there. Um, backup camera way up there. So you could hook that up if uh, you so had the system. Um, I don't, yeah, I can't get into this, but it's, I can tell you that what it is, is your cable and satellite hookups and that's so, but not so, because um, what Keystone's done now is because we now have RVs with TVs all over the place, uh, they've worked it in so that when you hook up here, it goes to any TV in your rig, not just the main TV. So if there's one in the bedroom or your outdoor TV or whatever you may like, it is there. I'll show you, this one only has one TV. Another uh, feature that Keystone's got going is that the lighting back here uh, gives you backup lighting. So, you know, you get to the campground, it's a little bit late out because you had to leave work and then the kids weren't ready. And anyhow, you're here now, it's dark, you've got some backup lights to help you get parked. I think that's a great feature. Okay, come around. I want to talk about the jack system. Um, this has an electric jack system and it kind of auto levels in that here's your motor. The, this button works both sides. And the way it's been described to me is that as the jacks come down, they come down together. If you're on unlevel area, the first one to hit will settle and then the next one goes down and then it kind of pumps itself up so that you don't have to do all of the cranking and changing to get it level. So that's, that's kind of neat. Um, what else do we got back here? You get the more ride sure steps and I'll link to that in a card up here somewhere where I show you how easy these steps are to put in because they look a little bulky and you might think oh I don't know I don't want to do all that it is just so easy that it's made me love them because they're sturdy you can get in and out very nicely and they're easy to put in now the only concern I have is sometimes, you know, you pull up and you might be near a curb or something like that. So you'd want to make sure that when you bring these down, they have something level to go down onto. So one of the things that I'm noticing on, it's not just a Cougar. There's many manufacturers that use this type of product as, you know, kind of their rock protection, flare, whatever. It seems a little bit flimsy to me now. It's not, right? Like I'm well, a little bit, I can move it. But the seams don't fit together good and it just seems a bit... So, obviously they wouldn't be using it or multiples wouldn't be using it if it wasn't satisfactory, but I just think I'd like to see something a little more robust there. Also, you get a utility shower, outdoor shower on the side of this one. And, oh, I want to talk about the awning because this is something we hadn't noticed before, hey, Cor? So this will be an electric awning, but it has these buttons. So you can open and close it. You can turn on the lights. It's good in the wind. You can lock it. And so it's, that's where you control it from. I just, that seems new to me. What also I love is the idea that you're going to get this big awning and it's going to have lights under it. And I just love that. So that's good. Let's talk about the windows. Uh, these are not the frameless windows so a lot of folks are in love with those and i get it except for i love these better you can get dual pane windows uh, i'm not sure if these in particular are i'd need a lighter or something to look at that but they uh, you can get dual pane windows on the cougar and then we're back to the front here you've got your solar if you want to hook up to solar you've got your front jack system and then we're back into uh, the storage that goes all the way through and these are the fuses that are the in command so that with that system if you need to access something it's right here and it's easy to get at i also want to point out that this trailer has a friction door i really like friction doors it eliminates that little hookup tie thing at the back that always ends up getting ripped off. It's good in 
wind or anything like that. So I really like those. It's got a screen door that has a few challenges. I like having a screen door, but this has to move easier and that has to move easier. So you can just ask them at the dealership and they, they'll take care of that kind of stuff for you. Every RV has a few little things that you might like tweaked and they'll take care of that for you. So let's go up these fabulous stairs. They're just so easy to walk up. You've got a grab handle. They're sturdy. I just can't say enough about them. Come on in. Hi everybody. Gotta love the 22 RBSWE. Cougar has put out a really fabulous trailer, whether it be for, you know, a couple, a single, person with a couple of kids. This is spacious and I love it. So let's get started. First off, who doesn't love all this counter space? I mean, this is a small trailer and this has got a ton of countertop space. So I am already in love with this kitchen, but let's take a look at the cabinetry here. Oh, can we get this one? Look at this. That is so spacious. Now, these aren't going to be solid wood cabinetry, but they'll have wood uh, frames and then they'll have some inserts. Loving this. Also, the thing I want to mention about the countertops is that they are uh, laminate, but they are rolled right over the edge. There's no seams here. And then if we come down here, more storage. That's fabulous. Okay. Back up, we've got your microwave. It's tiny, but you also get an oven. So here's your three burner propane Furion stove top with the cover. So you can uh, use that for workspace. Um, cute little backsplash there. I don't know that it matches as good as it could, but it's cute. It's so moving down to the oven. It's really quite a nice oven. It's decent enough size. It's a Furion brand. It's okay to have a tiny microwave when you've got a decent sized oven. While we're down here, let's take a look at this big door under the sink and see what's in here. So this is a pretty big space and yes, it has the plumbing and stuff in it, but you can still work with this. You can have your garbage can in here. You could put some bins back there of things that you, you know, don't use so often. It's a good space and it makes access to plumbing easy. And then let's go around the corner because there's something I love. Drawers. I love drawers. There's three of them here and they don't uh, make it so that other space is being lost. The way they've configured this is very well thought out. Sink covers, that's a bonus plus for me, separate sink covers because you get, oh nice, you get a stainless undermount double sink. You get a high tap, pulls out, sprays, really like that. Your countertop goes back, you have a nice window. Let's check out this storage up here. Okay, so good storage, just probably not gonna get used very much by us. Uh, also up here is this nice little bar piece. And I like it because it gives you a little bit of extra countertop. It defines the space between the kitchen living and the bedroom. Um, but yet it doesn't block your trailer out. You, you know, it's still an open space. So I really like that. A lot of them I, I've noticed have either a central wall that's blocking the bedroom. And I, I like this. Yes, I guess the con to that is that now your bedroom is open, but there's a curtain here if you wanted to slide that across. But I like the openness of it all. So another addition for this year, even though we're in a smaller trailer, is you get the Dometic eight cubic foot refrigerator. So there's a lot of space in there. I like this refrigerator. I'm actually liking this trailer more and more as we go along. Freezer, okay. You know how I feel about stuff way up there, but we can manage. We could totally manage with this. Okay. 
So that's all the appliances. Let's take a look at the dinette. The dinette is the only thing in a slide and it's really appropriate that it's in there because it allows you to have a lot of seating in there. It's not taking up much room in the rest of the trailer. So it's um, a little firm, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's fine. You've got leg room. You can sit all the way around the table. So you could, this would be a great table for eating, playing a game, any of those kinds of things, everybody would be comfortable. I love the windows around here. Uh, I like the decor. This is a, a lighter, but it's not, um, it's more of a vinyl-like material that would wipe up super easy. Uh, you know, not any of that uh, softer velory type fabric. So that's great. Let's talk about these blinds. Okay, so they're your, your standard, um, pleated blinds and they're in all of these. So let's try this one. Yeah, I think these might be single pane, but they're my favorite window. What can I say? I love that when you open a slider, you have all that airflow. Corey's wishing we had a lot more airflow in this trailer right now at 30 why degrees. Don't, why don't we just leave that open while we're in there? <laughs> It is so hot in here, people. Please give us a pat on the back for enduring. <laughs> Puck lighting, so I like that. Not a bunch to clean, not too blingy. Very nice. And let's go down under these seats because there is nice storage. I, got, I can't tell you how much I like this. And once you guys are out there doing your own research and looking at lots of trailers, you'll see the difference to under seat storage. A lot of them you have to lift this up and go under here or they may be a door that opens up and then you can crawl in there and dig around or get your kid to. But this, how convenient is that, right? Lots of storage, easy to access. Also this is going to make down into a bed, right? So this is where you put the kids and it's plenty big enough for that. Now let's head into the bedroom. The salesman tells me that this is a residential king mattress. That seems huge for a smaller trailer like this. You can walk around to this far. So, I mean, it's a little tougher to make, but at least you can get around three sides. Um, my favorite thing, a nightstand. And there's plugs back there, there's USB back there, there's a cubby hole in here, and you've got storage. There's a closet and more storage up there. And I mean, as far as upper storage goes, this is pretty accessible for us. I like that. I like that everything is functional, everything looks nice. It's not all too blinged out. Now remember that as far as a Keystone product goes, Montana's your luxury style. The Cougar's your more moderate everyday style. And that's exactly what this is. Perfectly functional, very nice, not blinged out. I like it. Now, what do you think's underneath this bed? Anything? <gasps> Check it out. Is that gonna stay? No. Okay, so you do have to hold it up, but that's okay. Tons of storage under there. I like it. Uh, on this side, similar. Oh, you can't go quite as far on this side. You can only get this far. But you do have the closet as well. I just want to mention, Corey, if you could show them over there. Quite a large TV. And in a good location, and it'll come out, it'll swing around. You can watch it from the dinette, you can watch it from the bed. All great. Uh, you've got a fantastic fan vent up there. You have ducted AC. Uh, I think it's about a 15,000 BTU air conditioner that is ducted throughout. Very nice. You've got a sound system control. And you know what? It's 
kind of like a bar. I could stand here while you do the dishes. A I could bar. like, I could have a drink while you clean up. A bar in the bedroom. Perfect. Now that's something you're more interested in. <laughs> okay, let's check out the bathroom. In a trailer this size, what do you expect for a bathroom, right? Wow, this is good. Okay, let's come on in and have a look. Glass doors that are on little rolly wheel things. Uh, so this is that one piece stuff. It's just got a little more decoration to it that you see all the time. If we go down, um, you'll see that it's just attached here. And I've, I've often said I wish they would caulk these kinds of things because just to prevent anything that could happen. They tell me nothing can happen there. Um, your shower fixtures are pretty decent, standard. You've got some shelves. Uh, I believe that on the 2020s they've made the uh, shower a little higher. You got a bit of a a, a skylight there. So I can't, I like this. It's pretty roomy. Um, not sure how you keep it together so the seam is good from the inside. I'd have to ask about that. But it's a very nice and spacious shower. Over to the sink. Uh, this is a nice size sink. Plastic sink, tap standard. Uh, not a ton of countertop space though, which I would like. The uh, mirror, little high. Stuff in here, a little high for us, but still good. You've got your electrical plug-in. And if we go down, you got a lot of storage in there. Right? Still plumbing and all, but you could put bins or baskets or anything you want to organize your stuff down there. And then over to your toilet. Uh, that is a, a porcelain bowl. I'm trying to figure out what brand this is. It's a little different than most I've seen, so I'm not sure. Oh, there. Oh, it is a Dometic. So, yeah, foot flush. Just a little bit different than most. Uh, you've got hooks in here to put all your stuff. You've got your uh, vent, the fan, and you've got AC ducting. And way down, you have your duct for heating. So really, this room unto itself has all the airflow that you could possibly want. Let's take a look at this. Remember, we're in a 22, which is probably about 25, but I'll get you those numbers exactly. Oh my God. How much stuff can you fit in there? That is big. Oh wow. See, this is amazing. It always amazes me how they figure out where to hide all your stuff. This is great. Uh, on the side of the cabinet here is the in-command system. So this is just basically your electronic control board for the trailer. And I also noticed you've got your holding tank uh, heating buttons here. So you could turn them on as you feel necessary, uh, depending on what kind of weather you're traveling in. So the other thing I wanted to mention was there was something new I learned about the flooring. Um, it is as you can see, it's a, a nice color of vinyl, but underneath that is a material called dye span. And apparently it's superior to plywood, but it's a plywood like product uh, that is water resistant. And it is a, a one piece type of thing. No seams or cracking or squeaking, that kind of stuff. So I guess that will remain to be seen, but it sounds like a good idea. Next, I just want to give you the numbers on the 22 RBSWE Cougar by Keystone. This is quite a popular trailer and I get it now that I've been in it because it's a small trailer, half ton truck, but it has so much space. So the weight comes in at 5,541 pounds, the carrying capacity 1,659. The hitch weight, 580. Fresh water, 60 gallons. Uh, waste water is 38, that's black. And the gray water is 76. 
and there is the two 30 pound propane tanks that we mentioned. It is a total, even though they call it a 22, it's a total of 25 foot 11 inches long, but they're including the hitch and stuff like that. So probably your inside space is pretty close to 22. Your height, 11 foot one inches. This does have a curved roof on it. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that it has a 12,000 BTU rapid recovery six gallon gas electric water heater. And then we talked about the AC, uh, the furnace 35,000 BTU ducted throughout. Um, so, I mean, those are great features. This is a fabulous trailer. Uh, right now here at Fraser Way RV, you can get it for $43,790 or, you know, you might be able to haggle a little bit too. This is a really nice trailer and if it's the one you're getting, I'm saying good on you. It is very spacious. It's good for all types of people, all types of travel. You could be in here short term, long term, whatever you like. It's just so functional. So if you've liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe as well so that we can show you all the other ones that we're going to go and review as well. And all of our fun adventures. We're putting those up all the time as well. Don't forget to click on the construction video that I'll put up here. It's part one of another Cougar. So check it out as well. Thanks for watching.